Hey everyone, in this video I want to take my Excel worksheet data and add it to SharePoint in a list that already exists. Now in a previous video I showed you how to create a new list in SharePoint by importing a thousand rows of data from Excel. But in this case, when you already have a list, there's no easy way to import or add additional data uh, to this list. So what we're going to do in this video is use Power Automate to loop through uh, every row in this Excel worksheet and add it to our SharePoint list. But to do this, before we get started, we'll need to convert our range of data, or basically our, our non-table data in Excel, into a table. So I'm going to click inside my data and press Control A to select all of my data. And then I'm going to either use Control T to convert this to a table, or I can do Insert Table. Either way, either way that's going to help me convert this range of data into a table. So once I've done that, uh, I just want to verify my data types, and I can see I might need to do a little bit of work. So I'm going to select my columns with uh, currency and set those up how I want them. This won't carry over to SharePoint exactly like how I'm formatting it here, but at least I'm giving it the right data type. Uh, before we go further. All right, I've made all my changes. I'm going to save that. Now, the next important thing to note is that we need to put that data in SharePoint. Right now, it's in my downloads folder. However, I'm going to put it in this SharePoint site, the same one that has this list, um, although it's not required. I could have this in a completely separate site if I wanted to. But just for simplicity, I'm going to the document library on this site. I'm going to add that Excel file that we just modified to this library and go back to my list. All right, that's the first part. My Excel file is ready to be added to this list. Now, this list already has 1,000 rows, and my data file has another 1,000 rows. So the goal here is to get up to 2,000 rows in this list. So to do the Power Automate piece, we're going to go up to our app launcher in the upper left corner and choose Power Automate. Now, if you don't see Power Automate, you can either search for it or select More Apps. So I'll search for it and select Power Automate. Once here, we select Create. In this particular flow, I would like to run whenever I need to, but manually. So I'm going to select basically a file and say I want to add this file's contents to my list. So that would be an Instant Cloud Flow. I'm going to choose that. So again, that's Create and then Instant Cloud Flow. And we'll call this one Import New Donor Data to List. Right now for this trigger, you have to scroll down a little bit, but it's going to be for a selected file. Make sure you choose that one and not for a selected item. Since we're working with an Excel file, it's for a selected file. And then create. All right, now for our trigger, I'm going to select that. It gives that one to us. And I'm going to choose my site. Which it, they don't have the URL yet, so I'm going to uh, choose the custom value or enter custom value for that. Go over to my site and copy just the site part of it. So that would be uh, sites slash name of the site and nothing that comes after it. All right, I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to choose my library name, which the default library is just called documents, so I'll select that. And I don't have anything else that I need to do here. So now I'm going to add a new step. So after my trigger, I click the plus sign and choose Add an Action. All right, this action is called List Rows. So I'm going to look for List Rows. And it is an Excel action, so I'm looking for List Rows present in a table. And I'll select that action. All right, now it's going to ask me to sign in and find that file that we're going to be connecting to. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm signed in. Now I need to find the file that we just uploaded. So I'm going to go to my location, which is SharePoint site for annual fundraiser. Uh, once again, I'm not seeing it here. So I'm going to choose enter custom value. And I'm just going to paste that same URL. All right, I pasted my site URL in there. Now I choose the document library, just like we did before. And it's documents. And now I can use this folder icon to find the Excel file. So I'm choosing open folder. And then here's my one file I added there, additional donor data. So I'll select that Excel file. Now in my particular workbook, I only had one table. So since I formatted it as a table before I started this, I see my one table option listed there. And I know that it is called table one. So I'll select that. Okay, so now we're going to list rows present in a table, meaning, meaning that we're able to pull in everything in that um, worksheet. 
So now we're going to go to add another action, another plus sign at the last opportunity here. Okay, this action is going to be add item or create item. Okay, and this is a SharePoint action, so look for the create item under SharePoint. Okay, my connection is the same, so I'll select that, and we need to choose the same site, but this time our list instead of our library. So once again, I'm going to paste my site URL in there and choose my list, which is donor data. There we are, and then I just wait a second. It's going to connect, and then you might have noticed my parameter number changed from uh, 0 to 12. So I'm going to show all of those because this is where I choose which fields in Excel match which fields in my SharePoint list. So my donor ID, I'm going to use my dynamic content here by using this little lightning bolt, which will let me use data from Excel here. All right, so in my Excel data that it was able to get, it does have a donor ID column. Perfect. So I'm going to choose that. And then first name, same thing. I'll use my dynamic content for first name. Now I'm just going to repeat this a few times. The process is, is exactly the same for almost all of these. There we go. Now since uh, the new designer doesn't let me see everything, it's going to be a little bit different for the rest, but bear with me. Now uh, whenever you're doing a uh, choice column in SharePoint, it'll ask you if you want to just choose a default value when you first uh, go to enter a value. However, choose enter custom value instead in this scenario. So we choose enter custom, and then I'm going to choose my lightning bolt, which we could barely see there. And this is where it gets a little bit different for the rest. Notice I don't see my uh, country listed here, so I have to click on see more. So I choose see more, and then now I see country, and then last donation amount. We'll do that. And I don't see my uh, currency amount from my Excel file. So in this case, it's telling me basically that the format of my data in Excel does not match the format of the column in SharePoint. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how I created that list, and you, you may be wondering why it didn't map up correctly. And this is just one of the many quirks when you're working with fields like currency type. Uh, luckily, we can do this a little bit differently. Instead of using dynamic content, we'll use an expression. Okay, so I go to my expression, which is the FX instead of the lightning bolt, and to format a value as a currency, I'm going to use an expression called float. Okay, so just type the word float, open parentheses, and then simply go to your dynamic content, and now we can select uh, the value for last don donation amount. So I select that, I make sure that that pops in between my two parentheses there, and then I choose add. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to do that same thing for lifetime donation amount, that's also currency. So I'll choose function, I'll type float, and then I'll find my last donation amount from my dynamic content. And I choose add. Alright, now status is another choice column in SharePoint, so I'm going to drop that down. And I don't want every single row to be imported as active or inactive, I want to use what it says in Excel. So I'll choose enter custom value, and once again I'll use my lightning bolt for dynamic content and I'll find under see more my status value. Here's status. Okay, now last field here is last donation date, so I'll choose my dynamic content, see more, and then last donation date. So the only two tricky ones in my case were those two currency fields, but I just had to add float uh, for that to work. So we should be good there. Now, uh, if I look at my overall flow for a selected file, meaning I'm going to select the file and then start the flow manually, it's going to find rows in the selected file and then create an item in SharePoint for each row in the table. That sounds good. So let's save that. All right, so that's saved. So now I'm going to go back to my SharePoint site and I'm going to find my documents. So I'll go to my site contents in my case and I'll go to documents. You may have an easier link in your navigation menu. But I want to see if that flow showed up. I'm going to select that file that I want to run the flow on, and then I'm going to go up to Automate, and then I'll see the name of my new flow. So here I am with Import New Donor Data to List. So I'm going to select that. A little panel opens on the right side. If this is your first time running the flow, it may ask you to sign into your connections. So we can see it's asking me to sign into SharePoint and Excel, but I'm actually already signed in, so I can just choose Continue. Okay, and now I don't have to enter any additional information, but you may have customized yours and it may ask you additional info here. But for me, I'm just going to run flow. 
And it's really that simple. So now it's looping through all 1000 rows of data in this file, and it's going to attempt to add them to my list based on those matching columns that we just mapped out. So I don't have to wait here while that runs. I'm just gonna switch over to my donor data list and we're gonna see if we can find new rows of data. So for this, what I'm gonna do is sort by my customer, um, or sorry, my donor ID number here because they are numbered sequentially where I can see zero going all the way to 1000 for the first set. So if I sort descending, I should see numbers above 1,000, and here we are. I can see 1082, 1083, 1084. Last one here, 1085. Let's refresh. Here we are. We're into uh, 1,110. So it's adding each of those rows, and it's doing a great job. Uh, and you can see the benefit of this already, where my conditional formatting is already being applied that I have on there, and my users or my colleagues can immediately start working with that previous Excel data right here in our interactive and very dynamic list. So hopefully that helps you import your data from Excel into your existing SharePoint lists. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.